Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, the Oracle SQL Plus worksheet. Okay. So which is a very handy tool uh, comes along with the installation of uh, uh, Oracle uh, 9i. Okay. The previous versions of Oracle uh, before uh, 11G and all. Okay. So to do that, uh, first let me uh, go to uh, Start, click Programs and Oracle uh, 9i, Aura 9i, uh, Aura Home 9i. Uh, 92 application development and SQL uh, plus worksheet here. Okay, so if we click that uh, immediately, our uh, let me be my start background window. So if we click that immediately, our uh, Oracle Enterprise uh, Manager login uh, would be uh, popped up. Okay, so instead of selecting uh, uh, login to the uh, Oracle uh, management server, uh, we need to select uh, connect directly to a database here. Okay, so here I am uh, uh, logging into the database directly uh, with the Scott and Tiger username. Okay, which are uh, Scott is the default uh, username for uh, Oracle uh, database. Okay, Scott and Tiger. Uh, let me uh, click OK and let me leave all the other options as uh, normal here. Okay, so click OK. Uh, it takes you to uh, the Oracle uh, SQL Plus worksheet uh, window. Let me maximize that. And if you click once again uh, connect here, it might ask you uh, once again. Let me do it. Scott Tiger. Okay. Okay. So we connect, uh, no need to do uh, twice or okay. okay. So let me, uh, so this is the SQL Plus worksheet uh, interface here. Okay. So if you go to uh, edit and if you click uh, clear all, so all whatever the commands uh, uh, been written until now in that window would disappear. So if you want to execute any command, you can type it happily uh, there. Okay. Select star from EMP. That's what I am uh, typing here. Okay. So if you want to execute that query, you need to click this uh, button here. Okay. So as soon as you click that, the query gets executed and uh, your result of the uh, rows, the number of rows uh, there in the uh, e uh, EMP table uh, gets displayed here. Okay. So apart from execute button, we also have here uh, command history. So if we click on that command history, so whatever the commands we have uh, typed until now uh, will be shown in this uh, command history. So also there is a, a previous command and next command. So previous command is uh, connect to start, uh, connect squat tiger. And next command is keep uh, keep on showing the, the next and previous commands based on the buttons here and also we have a wonderful uh, help option here if you click on that uh, it's getting loaded we have a whole lot of options uh, contents and search you can search whatever you wanted you can have here you have the contents of outline of the editor managing streams and so on and so forth you get a lot of uh, information about that how to work with all those options okay so and also you have uh, a quick tour guide here uh, which is a very handy uh, uh, tutorial kind of thing to learn uh, uh, the things with very ease here okay so whatever the uh, if you get any doubt you can uh, uh, keep on clicking uh, these things and you can learn uh, very uh, quite easily okay so the main advantage of using this work sql plus worksheet is that uh, your output would be uh, you you will you would be getting the output in a very formatted way and it's very handy to use you can copy paste the queries the big big queries if whatever you get okay so also you can uh, change the database uh, connection so since i have uh, logged in as uh, scott user scott tiger here so if you want you can change that by as to system okay system and uh, password of whatever you have given during the installation okay so now you get connected to the uh, system uh, user so let me clear all the commands and now let me execute this sql plus command show user here okay so if i execute that so it says the system as user okay so the user it says the user as system okay so down uh, below you observe if you observe here you get this uh, system uh, button here okay so if you want to change again once again you can change click this change database connection and you can uh, again go back to the Scott tiger option here okay so you got uh, uh, back to the Scott tiger option so now if you execute this uh, SQL plus command uh, show user okay so you have all the excuse me okay so user is Scott okay so we are back on the Scott user here okay so if you want to check whether uh, uh, so all the commands work in the same way like show all which is the command to show all the SQL plus commands list of all the SQL plus commands and also if you want to select uh, so all the table names so table 
underscore name from user tables okay user underscore tables semicolon and if you click execute you get all the table names here okay so here we have uh, we have already uh, six tables by default uh, in our uh, database so bonus dpt emp person scale grade and student here okay so if you want to uh, check the description if you say tsc uh, student so you get the description of the student table here okay so name roll number and everything and so on and so forth okay so let me write in detail here okay so describe student okay so you get whatever the name uh, and all okay so if you want to select the data you can uh, say the execute the command select star from uh, student and so on and so forth whatever the command you can you can uh, execute no row selected so there are uh, no tables uh, sorry no data in that uh, table here actually so okay so this is all about uh, uh, the sql plus worksheet which is a very handy tool to work with okay so to summarize once again so what we have uh, learned here so let me do from the very beginning here so let me quit it off so and from the beginning i'm telling here okay so click on the start button programs and if you go to aura home 92 application development you have this uh, sql plus worksheet option here so instead of uh, logging directly into the management server you need to connect directly to the database using uh, whatever the default account like scott or tiger if you have if you have created any account on your own you can use that and you can log in into the enterprise manager okay so if you click okay so you get this interface here okay so next what happens is if you select you can take uh, whatever the query you wanted uh, me. okay so whatever the query you wanted you can type it here so yes, select star from EMP okay so if you want to execute you need to click this uh, button here so it's nicely gets executed and displays all the result set of uh, the rows of data containing in the EMP table okay so this is all about uh, the SQL star plus worksheet okay so hope you like this tutorial so give a thumbs up and see you in the next lesson goodbye